Oh man, it's there's a, a ton of emotion going on. It was it was awesome to see all the student athletes here and just excitement. As soon as I walked in those two doors, I knew I knew I was home. I was happy to be here. Uh, just what does it feel like to take over a program that has seen some, some success, but you know recently they've kind of been struggling now. Um, you know what? It's a it's an awesome opportunity that I'm, that I'm not taking lightly. Uh, I'm gonna pour my heart and soul into this and. There's been a, a great foundation laid here from previous coaches and previous players, and that can't go unnoticed. And I want to build on that tradition. And I'm looking forward to it uh, at all levels, looking forward to the challenges that lie ahead and, and making it my own. Talk about the support you got from the team right now, from the football team. Oh, man, uh, just shaking every single one of those players' hands was, was why I do this. It's why I do it. And they all showed love and support, and, and I can't thank them enough for that. We're going to go into battle, and I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. Coach, you mentioned that you have about 20 years of coaching experience. What does it mean to now be a head coach? Man, uh, see if I can answer this with a straight face. Uh, I started off as a middle school coach, and there's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, I'd like to say that I did it my way. And I've had some great mentors in, in Phil Lopez at Bel Air and Chuck Feliz at, at Montwood and Patrick Melton here as well. And, and they, they were all great men and great football coaches. And I learned from every single one of them. And, and I know that I've been prepared to take on this role and I'm going to give it my best shot and, and get to work. Can you give us a brief like, uh, timeline, just the last few years, kind of where you've been just at Eastlake, right? Uh, yes, so the last uh, three years I've been at East Lake High School as a co-defensive coordinator. Prior to that, I spent uh, a year here at America's High School. Um, prior to America's, I spent six years at Mountwood High School. Started my coaching career at uh, Bel Air High School. Um, when I was doing my undergraduate work, I was a co-op coach at Ranchland Hills Middle School and Hillcrest Middle School, which aren't even around anymore. What does it mean to have Mark Moore kind of hand you that helmet and say that, you know, you couldn't be a better coach than you to come and lead the program? Oh, that meant the world to me. Um, having coached against him the last two years, it's uh, definitely better being on this side of it. Um, I'm looking forward to working with him. He's a, he's a high character man. Obviously, we know his uh, athletic prowess is, is tops. It's the best in the city. And, and we're fortunate to have great young men like he is. What advice did Coach Rod at Eastlake tell you when you got the job? Man, you know what? Coach Rod has been super supportive in this whole process. Um, even up until yesterday when I got the call, he says, my friend, wh whatever you need. And, and I know that he's a man of his word. And throughout this whole process, he's been nothing but supportive. Okay, so now what is it going to be when you guys face each other a couple of times now <laughs> yeah, since so you're in the same 6-8? He did say good luck in nine games but one, and, and I uh, I reiterated the same to him. And so it'll be fun. We're both uh, high competitors, and I look forward to that. Coach, you know, they have some good guys coming back, and I know they have a pretty good freshman class. I guess you see, you see all that. Yes, sir, absolutely. So your thoughts on it? On the immediate future, I guess. So we expect to come in here and, and uh, continue to build, like I mentioned, high quality uh, men, young men and women. And we want to make sure that we take care of that first. It's going to be person over player and the wins will, will come with that. And that's my priority is to build a great high, high character men and, uh, and win the right way and, and make sure that we uh, develop people that are going to be productive in our society. That's ultimately my goal.